Hello Aries, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-November 2023. Aries, I hope you've had a great start to the month and I hope that this reading gives you some kind of clarity. So here we go, I'm using as always an Angel All Records to help me connect through with Source. The deck that I'm using is the new one by Chira Marchetti, it's simply called the Marchetti deck. All right, so Aries, in meditation, I actually saw a Batmobile, <laughs> bear with me, a Batmobile being chased by a baddie, right? As they do. And Batman ended up getting off this road, veered off really, really fast. And the car settled into some kind of lift. The lift went down and he drove straight into his Batcave, right? the door went down. It was camouflaged. It looked like a piece of rock. And the baddies didn't know where he was, so he was safe. I then heard two can play that game and then gone into hiding. So, Aries, I don't know whether or not you're avoiding someone. I don't know whether or not you are just not wanting to be found. You may be in a situation where somebody wants to talk to you and you really don't want to talk to them. I kind of feel, Aries, you've gone MIA, right? <laughs> you've kind of disappeared off the edge of the earth and somebody can't contact you, somebody can't find you, they don't know where you are. It may be for a good reason. So let's get into this and see what comes through. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries. This is mid-November 2023. Yeah, I'm now seeing somebody in a house and they're locking the door and they're locking the windows and they're pulling the curtains over. You've gone into hiding, Aries, for some reason. Maybe there's something you don't want to face. Maybe there is somebody who is upset or angry. Hmm. Okay, I'm hearing the words on the war path. Somebody's on the war path. Yeah, somebody may be angry. Okay, let's just see what this is, guys. Maybe you, Aries, you may be angry. We'll see. Are you trying to locate someone? Mm. All right. Wow, straight out with your card of the fool. Aries, have you broken free of a situation? Is this you not wanting to be found? Did you do something risky? You may have taken some kind of risk and now you're feeling a bit nervous. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, Aries, you've moved. You took a risk and you have recently moved, move location, maybe because you don't want someone to find you so you may have moved location because someone that you didn't want to speak to again knew your address. Maybe, Aries, for some of you, this person stalked you, wouldn't let you out of their sight, was a bit possessive, and you had enough. Goodness me. Oh, Michael's telling me back cave. Yeah, doesn't this almost look like a rock that's rolled over from an entrance and then rolled back. It's as if, oh, where's Aries go? Where's Aries go? Where's he gone, right? <laughs> yeah. In the past, Ten of Cups. You were in a Ten of Cups situation, Aries, with someone. Everything was good. Three of Cups. I'm gonna continue. I need more information. Four of Swords. Yes, I'm almost getting the energy of somebody wanting to be left alone. Please leave me alone. I'm also getting a sense, Aries, that you may be praying that somebody just disconnects from you and leaves it at that. Yes. In the immediate future, Aries, you're leaving. You're, you're walking away. You've made the decision. You may have put plans in place. In your fears, Knight of Swords, yes, fearing somebody's going to be very angry about this, wanting to chase you, find out where you are. 
somebody who wants answers, okay, in the environment is somebody stuck in their head. They don't know what to do because Aries, you're unreachable. You're not communicating with this person. It's as if you've just vanished and they can't find you. You've moved. Yeah, in your hopes, nine of pentacles. Aries, you have broken free from a situation and you have, I'm hearing classed yourself as single. I don't know what that means. The chariot. Yeah, you got out of dodge. Now, you may, Aries, have started a new relationship with somebody at a distance from a partner you may be in a new relationship with a Cancerian. King of Swords. Yes, Aries. You were either dealing with someone very strategic and you had to get away from this person. Or Aries, you sat in the King of Swords being strategic yourself, keeping plans under wraps. Yes, being strategic to sit in the Nine of Cups, to sit in happiness. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a property there, right? To get your dream come true, you had to be strategic. Whoever Aries is trying to find you, yeah, they have no idea where you've gone. You could have gone anywhere. This is someone who doesn't know how to get hold of you. It's as if they're looking out across that ocean thinking, well, they could be in three different places. I have no idea where Aries is. They want to find you. Because they've been blocked. Two of swords. You have pushed away someone, Aries, in order to live a new life with someone else. Underneath the deck, yes, three of pentacles. Aries, unbeknown to your partner, you were building a relationship with someone else whilst being in a long-term relationship you were manifesting, keeping all this under wraps. Or you could have been manifesting moving forward with a Cancerian. You were looking at the past. You knew that you had to move to calmer waters. I'm almost, though, getting a sort of leaving in the middle of the night type energy. Maybe to be with a Cancerian, Queen of Cups. Because with a page of swords, the truth was you were very unhappy in a situation you were in. You may have felt betrayed by your person, Aries, because they sat in the Knight of Wands, but they were desperately trying to hang on to you for stability. They may have had an affair with somebody else. So I think, Aries, what you did, you took charge of the situation and you are now in a temperate place, you're healing, after ending a relationship that you've been in. I keep hearing two can play that game. So guys, if you're not totally with me, what we have here is someone who was in a long-term relationship. It might have been about money, it might have been about religion, there was no love in the connection. Aries, you met someone in the past that made you incredibly happy. And I think you spent a lot of time with this person. And you sat on that energy for quite a long time. I don't think you pursued it, but you knew that someone you met in the past would have made you very happy. After that time with the Three of Cups, you realised that your partner was cheating on you. 
They were going out. They were behaving as if they were single. And I think this really upsets you. Because up until this point of time, Aries, I think you've been faithful to your partner. But with the Four of Swords, right now, you're healing. Because you took a leap of faith in moving to a different area to start a relationship with somebody else yourself. You did what your partner did. But I think, Aries, you've taken it to the next level. I think your partner behaved as if they were single behind your back. Maybe went out, had a few dates with other people, hoping you wouldn't find out. You found out, Aries. But rather than sitting feeling very upset about this, very angry about this, and maybe going off and having a one night stand, you quietly developed a relationship with someone else and it got very serious. And I think you two have been planning on building a new life together. And you didn't think you needed to relay that to your karmic partner purely because they were off having fun themselves. Your view was, why should I? They're messing around on me. So, OK, if that's the way they want it, I'm going to build a new life with somebody else myself. But Aries, this person has realised that, first of all, you found out that they were cheating on you. Second of all, you've blocked them. And thirdly, they can't find you. So Aries, I don't know whether or not this has been a strange off and on partnership. Maybe you worked at a distance from this person. Maybe your person and you lived apart. It could have been to do with work. It could have been you went on holiday and you said to your person, oh, I'm just going to take a few days break on my own. I'll come back. I'll speak to you later. You've just gone. You've just vanished. What your person doesn't know, who is actually trying to figure out where you are, is that you've suddenly moved areas. You could have moved cities or states or even countries. Your person can't find you. Your partner who cheated on you can't find you. You feel it's justified. And I think you're developing a relationship with someone that you had a lot of emotion for in the past and you've just left. And they don't know what to do. So guys, let's get into this. Yeah, you just vanished, Aries. You, you're gone. Rather than sitting down with your partner saying, I know you've been cheating on me and I'm not happy about it. I think because you fell in love with this person in the past, you've just decided to leave your partner and develop a new connection with this person, building a whole new life. And your partner may be sitting in a house on their own thinking, well, uh, where is Aries? Well, Aries, I don't think you're coming back. They can't quite believe it. You've moved. You may have taken a lump sum of money out of a joint bank account. You knew it was risky. But I feel as if you just wanted some peace in your life. So, guys, wow. Let's begin. Archangel Michael, why is Aries sat in the energy of the Fool and the Ace of Coins? You're on a brand new path, Aries. Yes, temperance. You're healing. You could have left behind a Sagittarian. Or you could have moved towards a Sagittarian. But Aries, you don't want to be found. You don't want to be found by your partner. Yeah, no, you're putting up strong boundaries. Seven of Wands. It's as if I just don't want them to know where I am. What's Aries thinking about? The Hermit. You could be putting up boundaries against a Virgo. Or you could be very defensive, literally in isolation. I mean, it's interesting that I got that vision of a bat cave because it almost looks as if this hermit is in a cave, right? I just don't want to be found. You've gone MIA. What is Aries thinking about? Yes, Aries, you've made a life-changing decision to just move ahead into a brand new life. But I don't think you've talked to your partner about this. 
So one day you may just not have come home and they may be frantically trying to find you, but you've gone. You've gone. Empress. Wow. So Aries, I could be dealing with a masculine who has made a judgment call about their empress. Aries, your kind of the emperor came through, or you could be the empress female Aries who has suddenly deserted your masculine. But because we had the Queen of Cups that came out, I feel I'm dealing with a masculine Aries who has left behind a karmic partner, having found out that the karmic partner was cheating and is now moving forward with a Queen of Cups who is almost certainly, guys, a Cancerian. The Chariot and the Moon and the Queen of Cups. Add a stretch, possibly Pisces, but I really think this is somebody who's a Cancerian. We've also got Virgo there. Now, you could have left a Virgo, Taurus or Libra to pursue a Cancerian, but Aries, I think you found out your partner was cheating. And you may have felt, well, if my partner's sitting in that much disrespect, I don't feel I need to sit down with my partner and say what's been going on because it suits me very well if this is over because I'm in love with somebody else. And you've just gone. Wow. Um, so Aries, Ten of Cups in the past. Yes. Aries, the person that you moved into the Ten of Cups with was a lover. You found your personal Ten of Cups with someone else. So you could have developed an affair situation, a fling situation with someone in the past. Seven of Cups. But you sat in emotional confusion because I don't think at that time you were ready to leave your partnership. You weren't, yeah, no, you weren't ready to leave your partnership. Because you may have been in a traditional relationship, married. There could have been religious implications here if you left. You could have been married to a Taurus or you could have wanted to have been with a Taurus. But you couldn't make the decision to sit down with your partner and say it's done. What was the energy of the Hierophant for Aries? Goodness, okay, you were in a really toxic marriage, Aries, really toxic. You could have been married to a Capricorn. And I love my cabbies out there, no disrespect, guys. But we've got the Hierophant card and the devil. I think you were trapped in a toxic marriage. So you took a lover who made you very happy, but you kept it quiet. After that time, Aries, you found out that your partner had also taken a lover. Your partner was sitting in the Three of Cups, pretending that they were single. And the whole thing was just a tangled mess of lies and deceit. Both of you may have known that you were cheating on the other, but there was no words spoken about it. I think, Aries, you got really fed up with this. And I think with the Four of Swords, you decided to break free. The Fool taking a leap of faith, Ace of Pentacles literally moving to another area. So, Aries, I don't know how you did this. You may have been working away from home for a period of time. You could have been doing contract work or something. Or you could have pretended to your partner that you were going to go and see friends and family in another country, but you have not come home. You planned this all along. You planned not to come back. And now your partner is in their head thinking, well, what do I do now? Aries isn't coming back. I don't know where Aries is. I have no idea. They blocked me. I'm in my head. You've left the building. Eight of Cups, you've gone. 
chariot, you're off. You're hoping to live the life as a single person, even though you may still be legally tied to a karmic partner. But as far as you're concerned, it's just on paper. So what happened with the Three of Cups in the immediate past? What happened with the Three of Cups in the immediate past? Yes. With the Three of Cups, you found out your partner was acting as if they were single. And you felt that your partner was probably developing a relationship herself. Yes. Passionately messaging someone else. So you met someone you fell in love with, Aries. You didn't want to do anything about your marriage, so you sort of let it simmer down. You then realised that your partner was in a full-blown affair with somebody themselves. And so this affair in the past may have really started, got up and running. And I think what you have been considering is... I don't think I can get out of this marriage, so I'm just going to live the life that I want to live. I'm just going to be with a person that I love in a completely different area. And basically, uh, my partner can take it or leave it, but I'm not coming home. Yes, Emperor. Emperor, you took charge. Four of Swords, you've taken charge of your karmic relationship, Emperor Empress. And you've been healing and you have been developing a new connection with this other woman. Yes, who you're in love with, Aries. Who could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Who you are not willing to let go of. You're not willing to let go of this woman, Aries. Wow. You're in love with this woman. So Aries, um, you don't feel that you've done anything wrong. You met someone. You could make a decision about your marriage. You then found out your partner was cheating. And I think... You felt, why should I pretend that I'm happy in the relationship I'm in? I'm not. I want to be with this woman I've fallen in love with. So Aries, you just left the building. <laughs> You've just left the building, Aries. Wow. So, Archangel Michael, when do we have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords? Now, interesting, we've got two eights. Because eight is about progress. So you've left the area that you were living in with your long-term partner to make it work with this other woman in another area. You just left the building, right? You've gone. Wanting progress in your new life. And your partner is wanting to progress in their life, but they don't really know what's going on because they can't reach you. There's been no contact. They're in their head. Where's Aries gone? Aries has just blocked me. Two of swords. You've been strategically planning this for a long time to move into the Nine of Cups with a woman that you loved. So Archangel Michael, do we have timing here? I don't know whether or not there's going to be any communication between you and your partner, but we will find out how you're both feeling in the immediate future. So do we have timing, please, Michael? Thank you. 10th of January. OK, so Aries, you're not going to be with your partner for Christmas. Mind you, some of you may not celebrate Christmas. From the 10th of January, there may be some movement. We'll see. How is your long-term partner feeling? They are stuck in the Eight of Swords. They can't reach you. They don't know where you are. They don't know what you're planning on doing in the future. They don't even know if they're going to ever see you again. Yes, they're thinking about you, Aries, King of Wands. They know that you've just taken charge of your life somehow, but they don't quite know what's going on. 
Okay, Four of Wands. This is someone who may feel as if you've moved to another property, but they don't know where that property is. This is someone who may be sitting in a house that you own, Aries, but they don't know what's going to happen to the house. Are you going to plan on putting it on the market? Are you going to let them just sit there and live in it? Do they have enough money to pay the mortgage or rent if you don't? They're thinking about you taking action and moving into a stable new relationship or they want to talk to you about taking action pertaining to a property. Seven of Swords. Now, either they know that they were sneaky with the Seven of Swords or they feel that you've done something sneaky and you are now living a happy life with a woman that you love, that you met in the past, and you just left your partner to her own affair. Wow. Okay. They don't know what to do. Nine of Wands. They don't know what to do. What's their problem? What's their main issue here? Do they still love Aries? Okay, the problem is, is that you two may have lived at a distance. Or they may be worried that you found out that they were seeing a Leo masculine. And that's why you've gone. That's why you've left. I think they're angry, Aries. Five of Wands, they're angry. Because they have become enlightened that you've just moved forward into a beautiful new life with a woman that you love. Maybe moving in with another woman in a different area of the world. You're just gone. You feel totally justified in doing this, Aries, because your empress stepped out on you. I'm hearing again, two can play that game. What's on your partner's mind, Aries? Yes, she's having to move to calmer waters to try and figure out what she needs to do next. What's she thinking about? Aries found out that I was cheating, Ace of Wands. I was cheating on the choir, Aries found out. She feels really bad about this. But she might have felt broken hearted, Aries, because she may have known that you met someone in the past that you fell in love with. So she may feel that she was justified in cheating. This whole thing became a mess. What's Aries' partner thinking about? Justice. She thinks any minute now you're going to call divorce. Or what she's thinking about is you were justified, Aries, in building a new life with someone because your partner cheated on you. And even though you fell in love with somebody in the past, I don't think you did anything about that because you were married. It was only when you found out your partner was behaving as if she was single, dating other people, did you decide to go back to this woman that you met. And I think between the two of you, you decided to head off and build a new life together. And that's what's happened. So she can't blame you. She feels as if you got justice. But she's worried about a court case. She may be worried that any minute now you're going to turf her out of a house that you own or any minute now she's going to be served divorce papers. What's on her mind? Anything else? Yeah, she's really scared. Nine of Swords. She's scared. Because she's kind of floundering in the dark now. Before, things were nice and stable, right? You two were sort of living this on paper, wonderful life. Everything was nice and stable. You may have been the main breadwinner, Aries. And now you've left. She may not know what's going to happen to the house that she's living in. This could have been your marital home. And she can't reach you. Now you're sitting in the Eight of Cups. Aries, you've already left. You've already gone. And she's realising that. You've been looking at the past. You've been looking at all the effort and time you put into a long-term situation. Four 
feeling very unhappy, feeling very discontent. And really wanting to end the situation with the energy of the world. You made a judgment call about your Empress Aries to take control of the situation because you were in love with somebody else anyway. And you feel victorious. This is you, Aries, kind of standing up for yourself. What else is Aries thinking about? You feel victorious. It's done as far as you're concerned. Death card. Yeah. Now you could have developed a new relationship with a Scorpio female. Or you are changing your life. Okay. And I feel, Aries, you're going to send a very straight message to your karmic partner. To basically say, I fell in love with somebody in the past, but I didn't do anything about it because I wanted to be faithful to you as my partner. I then found out that you were having an affair on me, and so I'm sorry, um, I've left you, and I've moved areas, I'm not coming home. You could even say something like, my lawyer will be in touch, page of swords can be legal. You may even say to your partner, Aries, that you have a baby on the way. This woman that I met in the past fell pregnant. And when I realised that you were cheating on me, I thought, well, that's it then. And so sorry, but I've moved areas. Um, and I'm happy. I, I wish you every happiness. Aries, you're just detaching. You're just detaching. What are you saying to your partner? She can't believe it. She sat in the Nine of Swords. Okay, Aries, are you going to do it? Are you going to get divorced? Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles is you saying we need to talk about dividing the assets. She may be worried you're going to kick her out of the house. Maybe you had your name on the home and you've been paying the mortgage. She's worried she's going to be homeless. You don't care, Aries. You're off. You're in love. You're building a new life. You don't care anymore. What is Aries thinking about? Goodness me. Queen of Cups. Aries, I'm absolutely convinced that you are building a new life with a Scorpio or a Cancerian. Strong Cancerian energy with the moon and the chariot. Scorpio with the death card. You're happy. It's as if I'm in love with somebody else. So um, I wish you well. Have a good life. I'll talk to you about the details to do with money later. But that's my decision. Yes, you're moving forward onto a destined new path. You're leaving your partner behind and they can't quite believe it. What is the energy between Aries and their karmic partner? Their karmic partner. Yes, two of pentacles. Both of you were juggling other people behind each other's back. You tried to abstain from what it looks like, even though you were in a toxic marriage, you tried to do the right thing. But it was only when your partner was found to be cheating on you that I feel you decided just to call it a day. You may have moved straight in with this Queen of Cups, literally moved in with her. And she may have fallen pregnant with a Page of Swords. So, the chariot, you're gone, you've left the building, you're heading forward in your life. Yes, six of cups. You went back to somebody that you fell in love with in the past, Aries. Strength card. You're a little bit nervous. You're a bit guarded. It's taken a lot of strength for you to do this. What is Aries going to do? Page of Cups. You may have a child or someone. Or Aries. You may be holding back from apologising to your partner. Because 
You feel there's no need to apologise. Your partner cheated on you, right? She found someone else too. So you're thinking, well, I'm not going to apologise. Why should I? Is Aries going to be discussing anything else with their karmic partner? Money, knight of coins. You may say, okay, well, you know, um, I'm going to give you a certain amount of money for a few months. You may be cheeky and say to your karmic partner, if she didn't work, then she needs to find a job. You're discussing money. How is a karmic partner feeling? Super stressed. Ten of Wands, really stressed. What am I going to do? Right. Yeah, she's worried about money. She's worried about money. So you may have been supporting your partner, Aries. Hangman. She's now seeing things from a different perspective. That because she left you out in the cold, you may have formed a connection with somebody else. She then fell into an affair situation and you decided to take this connection in the past forward into a proper relationship and you've just left. She's now realising what's actually happened. You're not communicating with her anymore. You may, though at this point of time, this could be January, February time, you may communicate about money. What is her reaction if Aries communicates about money? She's angry. She wants to know where you are. She wants to have a proper sit down conversation. Aries, I don't think you do. I think you just want to leave it be. Eight of coins. Aries, I think you are working on your own stability. You could be putting all your time, energy and effort into your career. Page of coins. You may be talking to your partner about child support if you two had a child. Or you're building up your finances, Aries, because you may have a new baby or a child with your new woman. Ace of Swords. And I think you just aren't interested in communicating anymore with your ex-partner. So Aries, you may not be going through a legal situation. You may just decide, well, let's just keep things as they are. We'll stay legally married, but I'm going to live my separate life. And my karmic partner can do what she wants. That's your decision. Yeah. Aries, this has been a really quick reading, but um, let's get messages. Here we go, Aries. Let's see what your karmic partner would want to relay to you. Third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Yeah. So I think she actually stepped out on you first. Although you may have met someone in the past who was your true Ten of Cups, but you didn't work on that connection. You decided not to. You may have decided to work on your marriage. Anything else? Ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Broken. I feel shattered about the situation. She can't believe it's come to this. Unfinished business, yeah. We still have things to resolve and discuss, but Aries, you don't want to talk. All you are going to say to her is, I'm going to give you a certain amount of money. It could be per month. It could be a lump sum. Um, have a good life. You may have a discussion about a property, but you've already moved on, Aries. You don't want to even think about this anymore. What else does she want to say to Aries? Secrets, I haven't told you everything. Wow. So she was keeping another secret, Aries. Maybe you found out what that secret was. Dishonesty. 
by lying I ripped us apart. So Aries, it seems to me that for this particular situation, these are her messages to you. So she was the one that was dishonest or stepped out first. And I think you decided to go back to somebody that you fell in love with thinking, well, my partner's not being faithful to me. So I'm just going to leave and build a new life. And that's what you did. Aries, what would you want to say to your karmic partner? What would you want to say to her? Unappreciated. You felt like she didn't care about you. You may have felt she was all about the money, the stability. So you didn't feel as if she really loved you, Aries. That's really sad. Escape, yeah. And so what did you do? You just left. I escaped when things got hard, right? You escaped when things got difficult. Straight into the arms of this woman that you fell for in the past. That you now don't feel guilty being with because your partner cheated on you. Had a third party. Final message, Aries, from you to your partner, your karmic. New chapter. Yeah, you're trying to move on. You just want to leave this behind. I think she wants to talk to you about money, about legalities, about a house, about what's going on. And you just don't even want to know. What you're thinking about is, if she's really struggling, I'm going to give her a certain amount of money. But other than that, I am just not wanting to communicate anymore. You're now moving forward with a woman that you fell for. Definitely a water sign. I would say very strong Cancerian with the moon and the chariot or a Scorpio with a death card. You're moving on, Aries, and you may even have a new child. So, guys, I am leaving the reading there. I really hope it's helped. As always, take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Aries.